What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Dorkatron Prime and it's time to Omni Mead with Belfamon. Belfamon gonna be the perfect sword and shield deck. The best defense I've seen on a Digimon being the sleep mode and then the offense being the rage mode. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and jump into the profile. This deck is what it's gonna be mostly doing is try to keep turn, gain some memory and do some extra plays. And let's go ahead and jump into it. So our level twos are gonna be Pinamon. Pinamon, when it's deleted anywhere outside of battle, you're gonna be gaining one full memory. This is gonna be in combination with anything that's gonna to wanna to delete any other Digimon on board. This, a lot, this same concept goes along with the Sukaimon and the Gilmon of the deck. Uh, if any reason Gizmon pops any of these Digimon, you're gonna be gaining memory and then floating um, into, you're gonna be reducing the cost basically of your Digimon in play. So you can make that champion from a two cost to drop to a three. And if you pop your champion, you can make your uh, ultimate a one cost to pop. So it's gonna be very beneficial and it's gonna be cycling through your deck. It's gonna give you enough memory to start cycling through your deck more and more. So then we're gonna be, um, so for our rookies, we're gonna be running three Gizmon, Proto Gizmons. Proto Gizmon is gonna be on play, draw one, discard one. And you can also reduce the cost by deleting a level two in your back by two, making it a one cost. Really good uh, Digimon as it's able to play through the concept and the whole gimmick of the whole deck. We're gonna be running three Gabumons for the same reason. Just to draw on the discard can be very helpful for this deck and it's just gonna be cycling through your stuff. The Sukaimons and the Gills, we already said it. It's gonna be gaining the memory. It's a slight gimmick, but you're gonna be able to keep turn, reduce the cost and get to your sleep mode as fast as possible. So when you get to your Belfamon rage mode, it's gonna be super early in the game. Then we're gonna be running four uh, Gizmon AT. Gizmon AT is going to have an effect to pop a level 3 to reduce the cost by 4, making it a 2 cost. And it, and it also has it on play to draw 2, discard 2. This card does a lot. On top of that, um, if it dies between both the Proto and the Gizmon AT, you're going to be... Um, you're going to be able to put 2 Gizmons from your trash into the bottom of your deck and then play 1 Gizmon from your trash that's uh, the level above it. So the Proto going to be able to play the AT and then the AT going to be able to play the XT. Uh, really good card. You're going to be able to pop the Gilmon as well to gain the memory. And it, if it has a Pinamon right under it, you're going to be gaining two memory, making it free. Uh, then you're going to be playing four Eismon scatter modes because the, the deck is still uh, really revolved around drawing and discarding and then having stuff in trash. So this card is really recommended as you can drop to level five, pop this thing if it has jamming. That's like the biggest thing. You just want to pop it if it has jamming because this thing has jamming innate. Then um, we're going to be running the one of regular eyes one. If any reason you discard, you're going to be play able to play this body so you can gain more benefits off popping another Digimon on board. You're going to be playing four ground mons as I think the Royal Knight matchup is going to be more and more prevalent at least for the beginning of the card format so you're going to be seeing a lot more on play blockers on play blockers do uh stop you a bit on the gizmon plays so popping them is a huge thing on top of that it has an inheritable pop another digimon and gain security plus one astamon astamon is going to be another strong digimon as you're on playing a lot you're going to be on playing this thing or when digivolving and then you may pop another digimon to digivolve into Belfamon sleep mode. You can pop the Gilmon and the Pinamon to make this thing a five cost, which is going to be huge because a five cost to go straight into your best Digimon. And then that Digimon is going to be able to put your, your offense right under it from trash has a very strong uh, synergy with this, with these memory cards, I think. Um, then on top of that, it has a great inheritable where if you discard at any point in your opponent's turn, you're going to be able to play a level 4 Digimon, which can uh, be the pop target for your Belfamon or for another Astamon. Even the Growl. So then we're going to be jumping into uh, the uh, Gizmon XT, which is our final Gizmon. Uh, going to be popping a level 4 to reduce the cost by 6, and then playing in, uh, the Tamer, 
uh, Karada. Karada it basically is your bread and butter. So being able to play that card from trash when you play this guy is huge. The level five also has blocker, which is super freaking cool. Um, and because it adds a little bit of a defense to the deck as well. And if this card is deleted, you can play the proto Gizmon from your trash, which is the level uh, three Gizmon. You're going to be playing four Belfamon Sleep Modes. As I feel like you want this card mainly in hand. I'm going to be running four of it as fast as possible if I can see it. Um, to keep warping back into it um, with another card. So Belfamon Sleep Mode is uh, you can place a Belfamon Rage Mode right under the source. Um, like right under it on top of all your other sources. And then this Digimon cannot attack, but it cannot be affected by any of your opponent's effects. So that's a huge plus. Um, and if your opponent ever decides to attack you on his turn, you can discard two cards from your hand, which can do many different things uh, to uh, basically negate the whole attack. So you don't even take the damage. You don't have to suspend yourself and you don't need to like, it's just a different breed of blocking. We shouldn't be getting this. But if we do, from now on, it's it's going to be crazy. Then we have the Belfamon Rage Mode. Rage Mode having an inheritable effect to discard the top card of this Digimon um, source. Uh, and if it's a sleep mode... No, if it's a sleep mode on top of this Digimon, you may discard the top and it basically becomes itself. Um, then... It has an effect on uh, the start of your main phase. Delete all your opponent's level 5 or lower Digimon. So it's going to be a board wipe straight off the bat. And then on top of that, it's going to be um, gaining security plus 1. If you have 6 or less cards in hand, it's going to be gaining 3k. So it's going to be 17k with security plus 1. On top of that... That's a mouthful, right? So on top of that, if it deletes another Digimon, it can, I'm sorry, at the end of attack, it can delete another Digimon to unsuspend. So hit for another two checks. If you have the Groudmon, it's going to be hitting for a third check. And if you pop anything with Pinamon or Gilmon on board, you're going to be gaining memory. It's going to be huge. So um, this is going to be your pure offense part of the deck. The card does so much and being able to unsuspend a purple is super dangerous. So then we're going to be looking at our tech choices. The tech choices being Nidhogg. Nidhogg is an amazing card for this deck as you're able to discard it to gain a memory to do more plays or to set up yourself in a position where you're able to choke your opponent or even on a defensive standpoint, if your opponent decides to swing at you, you can discard one Nidhogg and completely pass turn, putting them in a really bad position. So that is a very strong offensive and defensive option. It's also going to help you go up through your line if you ever decide to draw on this card off the Proto, off the Aismon, and all that stuff. So amazing card. Then we're going to be running Win Rate and Zwart. These two cards combo very well together as you're able to play a Win Rate when you have a Tamer on board without paying, uh, without meeting its color requirements. Then you're going to be discarding one card to Digivolve into a another card for the reduced cost of four so it's going to make the um these were a four cost to digivolve and then uh you're going to be playing the astamon so zwart its effect is to mill three play two a cost or lower digimon from your trash you're going to pick two astamons or an astamon and a proto then you're going to make the um astamon pop the zwart and if you have any sources that have gain a memory you're going to be gaining a memory off it so it could be a three or two cost zwart for just uh going into a crazy little play um uh, then you're going to be running um so these two options are interchangeable you can change them for underworld calling you can change it for the the six cost option that belfamon runs which i might be doing because i didn't realize how strong it was until i actually like tested it out but this work combo is very cute and you're able to do something a little more crazier than i'm used to <laughs> um so then we're going to be playing uh, one Calling from Darkness, which is going to be reviving back our um, Nidhogs, our, our Belfamon Sleep Modes, any giz Gizmos that we have in trash that we need to have correctly. Uh, they're going to be putting them back in your hand, and a lot of your cards do gain you memory, so this card can be free. 
Then we're going to be playing four uh, Karatas. A uh, Karata is an interesting card as at the end of your opponent's turn, you're able to draw and discard one. And if you were to ever play a Belfamon from your hand, you could pop a Gizmon to reduce the cost of the on play by the Gizmon you have on board. So uh, that's a, a great thing as you're, make, you're able to make the... Um, you're able to make the uh, Belfamon sleep mode on board for two memory, which is huge. Um... Also, it has another effect that you're able to put this card under your um, your Belfamon to delete a level 6. It is the tamer with the most effects in purple and I've ever seen. It has so much utility, it's insane. <laughs> but yeah, so um, this is the deck profile, guys. I hope you guys liked it. Remember, we brick by nature and it's time for Amimid.